Yo, what up? It's Captain Rick, Robert Captain Rick, Rock TV, and today I'm going to tell you guys about one of the most quietest nights in the California State Prison. I was in my early 20s doing time at Ironwood State Prison. This was one of the most, at that time, I didn't been to a whole lot of prisons, but this was one of the most active prisons. It was an active prison. A lot of young dudes, a lot of OGs that were still active at that time. Structure, no gangs played at this penitentiary. The quietest night was one of the nights that I was transferred from a cell, from having a celly to a dorm. A dorm is a big setting with probably 200 people or more. Blacks, Hispanics, whites, others, Asians. This night was the night that Stanley Tookie Williams was executed. Stanley Williams, for the ones who don't know, is one of the co-founders, one of the original Crip gang members. Um, yeah. This night, everybody, er, I, when I say everybody, I mean everybody, from the CEOs, everybody, the CEOs locked themselves in their office. The ones that was inside the buildings, they left the building. The only ones that was in the building was the guard towers. Inside the dorm, you had two COs that sat directly at the podium, and you had one in the guard tower. This night, the ones at the podium vanished. The only one that you seen was the guard in the guard tower walking down with his Mini-14 patrolling the whole dorm looking for any suspicious activity, which could have been a weapon, somebody passing a weapon, looking for any sign of inmates getting together for an attack. I'm a youngster at this time. Got my gloves on just in case something crazy go down. That way I don't get any scars on my knuckles because that's how a lot of people get caught in prison by scars on their knuckles and altercations. Here come another airplane, you guys. Let's let this airplane go by. Stanley Tookie Williams was executed that night. A lot of people was upset. Other races, though they didn't show it, you could see the expression on their face. They was upset. And everybody was looking. Everybody was looking at the blue team. What are they going to do? Like I say, there was no COs on the yard. The dorm. They was all locked away because they knew that it could possibly be their last day at work. The very next day, the yard opened up. Everybody on pins and needles, every guard, and I'm thinking it's about to go down. Here come another airplane, but we're not going to stop the show. Everybody thinking it's going to go down. A sift the blue team. The blue team had their mind made up as if they knew nothing was going to happen. I'm a youngster looking at the OGs on the yard that been doing it since Dally Williams started. Raymond Washington, the co-founders of this blue thing. I've seen cards being dealt. I've seen dominoes being shuffled. I'm seeing basketballs being shot. Nothing happened. I'm looking at other cars, other races, people looking at the blue team. Blue team didn't do anything. 
right then at that moment, I knew the game was over. It was over with for the blue team. At that moment at Ironwood State Prison. So, if that can happen to one of the co-founders, what do you guys think going to happen to you when you lose your life in these streets?